starting a new painting called Tennessee Winter. And this is the photograph that it comes from. And behind it is the first experimental painting of it. You can see that. Uh, it has a quite a few mistakes in it. So I did it on Fabriano paper, which is not as good as Arches. So I learned from my mistakes, and I started doing a, a final painting on Arches paper. And you can see all I've got done so far is the, the, the background trees and the house. And uh, there you go. I'm going to work on the lake. I've been working on the lake today and it's almost done. Just thought I'd show you. I just painted a light blue wash here. And then I put in the, the little dock. Then I put in a darker blue wash here and kind of brownish where this is this would be ice and this place in here, the water hasn't quite frozen over yet. And a little few shadows under the dock and like that. Um, and then I put in all those weeds that grow around it that are sticking up through the snow. Oh, oops. Let's put the camera back on. Okay. So the only thing I have left is I used four different colors, gray, two colors of brown, and uh, an orange to make the weeds. All I have left is to smear them a little bit around the bottom, make them look a little more natural. And that's my last step on the lake here. So I'm just painting with a brush that has no paint on it, just water, just to smear those colors along that bottom. Because you can't see the lake through the weeds at the bottom, only at the tops. I did most of the painting with regular tube watercolors, but I did these weeds with uh, watercolor pins. Just easier. I like them. I don't make just a straight line there. I have to sm smear it unevenly because, of course, in nature, it would not be just a straight line. It would be uneven. There you go. So there's the lake. I also put these trees in. They're um, little fruit trees that, uh, I don't know what they are exactly, peach and pear and plum. But they're in winter. I just need to put some snow on them. So my progress tonight on the Tennessee winter painting was putting in that one tree in the foreground. It was quite a job and I'm not finished with it. I still have to put snow on it. I'm going to use acrylic paint to paint in the snow to make it have a little more depth. But I'm debating whether to put more trees in there or not in the foreground. I kind of like the lake and the house in the background, so. I have to decide. Here's Tennessee Winter, which is now called the Cardinal. What I did tonight was I went in and put more branches in 
on the trees and then I went and put snow on the branches. And the way I did that was I just took some acrylic paint, painted the snow in, oh God. Kind of boring, but you know, it worked. And then I put the cardinal in. And that was uh, at the request of the patron. This is one speck of color in this whole painting of mostly brown and white, bluish white. Anyway, I might be finished. I have to think about it for a day or two. Um, the only thing I would do is I would add some weeds poking up through the snow in various places, maybe. Okay. So this is the painting that I call the Cardinal. That's actually uh, my brother's place in Tennessee. And it's finished. What I did was last night I didn't have um, this part in and I didn't have this little weeds over here. And I took photos of it and I put it on Photoshop and I added those elements to see what it would look like. And then I decided I liked them. So I put them in and there you go, all done. And you might say it's not signed, but it is signed actually. It's signed in the weeds. There's my name somewhere down there. Oh, hard to see. There it is. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Tennessee Winter or the Cardinal. I had two, two names for this painting. These are acrylic paintings that I just finished for a Filipina patron. Don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.